How to Destroy the Demonic Counterattacks by Roger Munoz Preface The content of this book, How to Destroy the Demonic Counterattacks, Powerful Weapons of Spiritual Warfare, was broadcasted for the first time in the Liberation Teaching and Training Program, led by Pastor Roger Munoz, Director of the Freedom in Christ International Ministry, and has been broadcasted live and deferred in a series of classes taught with biblical, doctrinal, and practical contents. In it is transcribed verbatim, the thematic content that refers to the strategies to counteract the demoniac counterattacks, a conference where Pastor Roger Munoz shares the knowledge that God has given him and his experience in the Ministry of Liberation to pastors, leaders, and brothers in different parts of the world with the purpose of multiplication and knowledge of the truth. It has been transcribed with personalized terms or structures, according to the colloquial language used by the leaders, with knowledge and experience in the field of liberation. It has been carried out in order to provide each student with one more tool to acquire or reinforce their knowledge and effectively exercise the liberation exercise or any other ministry granted by God. How to Destroy the Demonic Counter-Attacks Presentation Blessings My brothers, my name is Roger Munoz. I am the director of this ministry Freedom e Christ International. The topic of today is very important. How to Destroy the Demoniac Counter-Attacks Objective Since the day you are a Christian, you are being attacked, and if you are attacking them and freeing people in the name of Jesus, the counterattacks come. The goal is for you to continue preparing, to know more deeply the powerful weapons we have in Christ Jesus, to counteract those counterattacks, learn how and when to use them, and apply them in your daily life, in self liberation. Liberation. You will notice a great difference, and always walk in victory, in the name of Jesus. Content In this class we will know, in a theoretical and practical way, strategies how to destroy the demoniac counterattacks. How to destroy the demonic counterattacks? Who do the demons attack? Who is counterattacked? Why does the enemy attack? When do the demons fight back? Satan. What are the weapons we have to counteract those attacks? Jeremiah 33, 3-9 says clearly, Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. And in verse 6 it says, Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them, there it is, and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. 7. And I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return, and will build them, as at the first. 8. And I will cleanse them from all their iniquity, whereby they have sinned against me, and I will pardon all their iniquities, whereby they have sinned, and whereby they have transgressed against me. 9 and it shall be to me a name of joy, a praise, and an honor before all the nations of the earth, which shall hear all the good that I do unto them, and they shall fear and tremble for all the goodness and for all the prosperity that I procure unto it. Brother, he says he forgives our sins, and in fact through Jesus they were taken away, forgiven, and he brings us healing. It is God and his word, it is very clear, but what happens is that they do not take it as truth and say, this sickness is a punishment from God because Paul was also sick. Do not take hold of so much story. Most of us have seen it in this ministry, and the word of God also proves it in most diseases. Of the problems, they are demonic entities. What percentage? Let's say 95% are demonic problems. You have to get them out. 
I performed a deliverance to a sister who is in Bogota, Colombia, and the devil told me, Why me? Why me? If we are many, why me? There are more here. There are more here. Who do the demons attack? Who is counterattacked? The demons attack every believer who decides in his heart to know the truth, to live in the truth, to manifest it to the world, and to serve God so that his kingdom may continue to spread. When you are doing nothing, passively in your house, quiet, you are not attacking anything, you are not liberating, you are not rebuking demons, you are not doing anything, the enemy is not going to attack you, in fact, the enemy is attacking you, but you do not realize it, with diseases, with ruin, with rare demonic things, with nightmares, but you see it as normal. But when you start in liberation, to learn liberation, study the word of God, fast, pray, intercede. He sees what he did not see before, what the enemy is doing, that epileptic attack, that asthma, that diabetes. Does spiritual warfare, starts to drive out demons or learn to drive them out? Evangelize. What you are literally doing is, declare war on Satan, because you are getting in his way to disrupt his plans, and he is going to want to prevent you by all means. That is Satan's job. He does not want you to do that, to learn liberation. Even what you are doing in this moment, he does not like it. Now come the counterattacks. It is happening to many of you right now. You are going to receive attacks at this time or have already received. Where? If you told your husband, your wife, a friend about this, they will want to discourage you. This is not from God. This is not from Christ. They will ignore you a little more. Also, with horrible nightmares, those are the counterattacks of the enemy. They begin to intensify with more problems. They are counterattacks of the enemy. In the Bible, it appears when Joshua was going to introduce the people, God threw Joshua to the promised land, they attacked, and then the enemy also counterattacked them. The kings gathered to attack the people of Israel. The advantage that the people of Israel had was that God was with them, just like you and me, God is with us. So there is nothing to fear. Our God protects us. We have no problem. We have the assurance of the word of God and the tool that we are going to tell you how to counteract those attacks of Satan. Why the enemy attacks? Well, that's his function. Satan came to steal, kill, and destroy. That's his job. John 10.10 10. Now, counterattacks are the purpose for which Satan came. What does it mean? What if you are being robbed, killed, destroyed, in all areas, in one area? Who is doing that function? Who is doing the work? Satan with his demonic agents. Then, it is important that you know it so that you identify them. If you have a headache, anything and you are in liberation, you are going to liberate. If you fall and get injured, the surest thing is that it is a demon attack. You have to know those things so you can defend yourself. Here are the tools, that is the objective of this class, give you the tools for you to go to the battlefield. Acquire all this information that we are giving. It is information that comes from heaven, from Christ to each one of you, because we are at war, and we are warriors. That is why this is important. When do the demons fight back more? Satan. From my own experience, since I started this ministry, do not think it was easy. I had many counterattacks. I told Satan, You know that live or dead I am of Jesus Christ, so I continue this. Be calm. There are very common ways you detect that you are being attacked. Let's say, there are some very common ways in which you feel the attack. The Oppressions at Night When I started this ministry, I had many demonic attacks, totally demonic, not that someone is going to come and hit me. No, demonic attacks, preferably at night, sleeping. 
In my personal experience, when I was sleeping, I had too many nightmares, even twice I was sleeping, and I felt something came in and it exploded, it left me seeing stars, it woke me up right away, that happened to me asleep, but it was like something real, it happened to me twice, enemy attack. Many times the demons come to oppress at night, at dawn, or in the morning, when you are sleeping, is when more demonic attacks come. That has been my personal experience, there is something that is key brothers, as I understand, the agents that Satan uses, which are witches and sorcerers, they do a lot of fasting, prayer, and all that early morning story, from one, two in the morning onwards, they begin to make spells, demonic prayers, for that, that hour is tremendous, they attack with nightmares, which is pure demon, body paralysis, cannot move, pains, suffocation, dreams, spirits that sexually influence sin through dreams, repetitive dreams, dreams of persecution, all these are symptoms, counterattacks of the enemy towards us. That is why I always advise, when you feel that nocturnal oppressions, which is very common, every time you get up, do self-liberation, from the bed, you have to shake yourself. Yes, as every day you bathe with water and everything, so do your self-liberation. Throw everything out in the name of Jesus Christ. Did you rise with pain? Forget the story, that pain is a demon that is out there for sure. You have to get that demon out of there, and the problem ends right away. Forms of Attack There are going to be many forms of attack. They enter with a spirit of discouragement. The sorcerers who are agents of Satan, they are going to counterattack you. If you are a pastor, if you are a leader, you are always under attack. When you get more liberated to learn about what is important, the enemy will counterattack you, discourage you from continuing in this, sometimes by attacking a son or daughter, a close relative to hurt you, to give up. The enemy uses a lot, the weapon of intimidation, of fear, to lead you to say no, I do not follow this. He will try to do anything to stop you from learning, to practice deliverance, or to expel them, because while they are working in the person, they are calm, working, but when you start to expel them, to recognize them, they do not like it. They also attack with criticism in our environment, sudden change of behavior of people close to us, with a negative and defiant attitude towards our person. Those are counterattacks, so do not be afraid. Since you started this liberation course, you are watching this video now is the same. Do not be afraid that your couple will be like mad, angry, not be scared. Another front that the enemy attacks is using the sorcerers, because sorcerers are used by the devil to counterattack and send demons through works with clothes, food, hair, drink with the name of you, make altars, burials, etc. Thank God that here we have the tool to destroy all this, and this is very broad. We also have it in books and in the School of Liberation. Courses in Liberation, the basic level, intermediate level, advanced level, all those classes we handle, we teach everything that is the liberation, so you will learn many things if you want to deepen in this. Physical Attacks When I started this ministry, it was when I received a lot of physical attack, of course it is spiritual, also using people close to me, they told me, underscore underscore underscore, and you, what are you going to live with? Go to work. Ah, do you put yourself in prayer? Go to work. Underscore underscore underscore, but I'm working. Underscore underscore underscore. No, no, but money, work is not that, work, that has income, that get paid. Underscore, 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 no. You, calm, I am investing in the kingdom of heaven. Underscore, 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 no, but. And what are you going to live on? And what are you going to live on? That was constant, always, my brother, they attacked me strongly, but thank God I understood that it was the enemy's attack, because before they bothered me, and now they stopped bothering me, but still sometimes they attack me on that side. 
underscore underscore underscore. But you, Roger, you know well that there is this need. Underscore underscore underscore. No but quiet. We have everything here, we have food. Underscore underscore underscore. No, but we do not have, I do not know how many things go to work. Underscore underscore underscore. I'm already working, I'm already working, ha ha ha, oh my god. It is the enemy using people, and one understands it, that is why Jesus said in his word, forgive, even when he was on the cross he said, Father forgive them because they do not know what they do. In fact, Jesus saw the spiritual world, the amount of demons that were in those people, were beating Jesus. Then, one has to be the difference, because our struggle is not against flesh, nor blood, but against demonic spiritual hosts that are in people, outside or inside, they are influencing the person. So be forewarned for this, do not be discouraged. If you are being counter-attacked or attacked, and you make the terrible mistake of leaving, it's wrong, you do not have to. Even in the group that you are my brothers, there are many who leave. A tremendous error. They leave the battalion, tremendous error, no. They had to persevere. If you leave, the enemy won. Why is it that the enemy won? Because the enemy wanted to get him out of the ministry, and you know that by removing him from the Freedom in Christ group, you are weaker, the enemy is going to attack you more, you run out of coverage, believe it or not, brother, all those who are under this ministry of freedom in Christ, who are somehow connected with us, have the coverage of this ministry, they have, it is spiritual, because the head of this ministry is called Jesus Christ, and he takes care of his own, so, he has it, greater than, although I know that many believe that coverage is, because unfortunately that has happened, to have the coverage of a church, to be able to give tithes, for taxes and things like that, things that the government demands, but that is not coverage, that is not what spiritual cover is. So do not be afraid of counterattacks, at all, even on the website, www.crystallibera.org. I have spiritual war prayers, you can download them, it's for you, get a copy. Also those who have books, all that is in the books. Those prayers are in the advanced level. Please see them, and download them. In that class I explain why we need you to grasp tools or the language of spiritual warfare, which is very important, and there you learn them. It is important that you have the books, because in the books I explain what you should do and what you should not do. You are going to be equipped here, both with the audio, video, and class. You need to acquire all the material, Remember that this is preparation, equipment for the work you are going to do. It is a tool that you are going to use. You will use it when you finish this course and go to give lectures, classes, to another place, to another city, another country, because that is the goal, equip you for something. The doctor equips himself, buys books, studies five to ten years, but after he finishes, he will use everything he learned. If he leaves without doing any of that, he lost five years, ten years, just like you. If you do not use what you have learned here, you lost time. We see in the facts, you see in the evidence, you see that they are attacking you. I'm going to tell you something that I've noticed, because I've even asked certain demons. Even though you are in holiness, you are fine with your life with the Lord. You have forgiven everyone, everything is fine, and you started in liberation, to help people to be free, to tell people to be free, to tell the pastors, pastor, this book, buy this book, pastor see this ministry of freedom in Christ greater than investigate it this man, God is using him a lot, then Satan, or demons principalities, governors of darkness, they assign you demons, assign you demonic entities that will command attacks against you, they are sent by Satan himself, but already assigned, because Satan is not everywhere. They have communication, he knows who I am, and he knows who you are. For example, the principalities, governors who rule here in this area, logically demonic, know who I am and know that I am here. 
the principality demon that is there knows that you are watching this video, that you are connected, then they assign you a demonic entity, say a command, he gives the order, attack this man destroy him in such a way, it is he who gives the order, then the demons go to you. How did I discover this? I repeat, because I asked the demons, who sent you, what happened? And they say, they are sent by Satan himself. We have also found this case. I did not find it. It was another brother who is doing liberation. About two or three years ago, I was in California giving lectures. They started doing liberation, and they told me that they had found a demon that had been sent from the same hell to them. Then, they did a sign. If before you had demonic attacks, now they will assign counterattacks, they will send you demons to destroy you. The setbacks. Well, another front that the enemy uses a lot is setbacks such as accidents, thefts, and all kinds of unforeseen events. In order to discourage and intimidate is the work of the devil. Now, how do you realize that the demons are attacking you? For the evidence, simple. Analyze the evidence. When you are living in holiness, serving the Lord, training in liberation, even so, Satan is going to designate his principalities, governors, I do not know how many demons to attack against you, and those demons assign demonic entities commanded against you and destroy you. This is how it works. The Powerful Arms in Jesus Christ What are the weapons we have to counteract those attacks? Well, now I'm going to tell you the formula that we all know. What happens is that they do not use it. We found a weapon that we always use. The Word of God The Word of God is the key. Eat Bible. We know that the one who has all power and authority is the Almighty Father, and he gave that authority to his Son, who is also God, less than Jesus Christ, all the power and authority. And Jesus Christ delegated that power and authority to us, his church, and we are full and guided by the one who dwells in us, the Holy Spirit of God, who is the one who does the work and is the power in us. The authority delegated to the church. Jesus delegated his power to the church, to us. Power and authority, but power and authority over what? Over everything. To expel demons, says the word of God, that everything that we tie on earth is bound in the heavens, and everything we loose on earth is unleashed in the heavens, you saw in the previous classes. We are the key. The basis of all this, we all have a tremendous transcendence, whether good or bad, and more we who are children of God, who are of the church, Christians. Then, you have to put yourself in the position that Jesus placed us, placed us above, it means that Satan, demons and all spiritual entities are under our authority. Then, we know that he defeated Satan on the cross of Calvary, he is defeated, he is a demon with a lot of power, but defeated, he is defeated, that we must always bear in mind, that he is a vanquished demon, then we are up, they are down, we command, we have authority over everything that is below, even the whole kingdom of Satan, we have power and authority, then, when you are being counterattacked or attacked by the enemy, and Satan is down, he sends orders to every demon to attack you, that is, Satan sends the order, and the devil is going to attack you, your family. How do we cancel these counterattacks? There is a word that Jesus gave us and says, In my name you will cast out demons, that is the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is enough, because we have to defend ourselves. How do we cancel them? His name is enough, so much that that name is above all names. In the name of Jesus every plan is annulled. After that plan is annulled, the demons have to go to the abyss. You cancel that plan in the name of Jesus. I do that at all times. 
If Satan sent me a demon to attack me, in fact he already sent it, whether he walks around you or has already entered you or your son, whatever, what I do, I says is. In the name of Jesus, I cancel that order. Satan, I cancel that order in the name of Jesus. The principalities, governors, in the name of Jesus, canceled that order, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you command them, out, inside the abyss, in the name of Jesus, out. I cancel that witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Now, demon, you have nothing to do here. Now, in the name of Jesus, out. For the abyss, in the name of Jesus, out. If it's an attack they're making, or they're going to make plans for you, I cancel them. I annul them in the name of Jesus. All the plans are annulled in the name of Jesus. All annulled. Counterattacks against me, against my family, against my property. All in the name of Jesus or against my church or against me congregation, all are annulled. So go out in the name of Jesus. Remember, not only cast one demon, we must cast the demons that are under that demon and in the children and in everyone. We teach that in other courses, do it. Because they attack us, they attack you. The pastors are attacked a lot and you do not realize it. You live quietly, confidently, when Jesus said, be alert, alert, but confident. Yes, there is trust and power of God, because he protects us. But Jesus tells us, be alert. If he tells us to be alert, it is because of something that we must be alert. People relies too much, and that is why it happens that the churches are destroyed. They do not advance of 20 of 50, 100 people. They do not advance. When they are advancing to 30 people, they are destroyed. They are divided. There are lots of things. They are being attacked, and they do not know it. Then, you cancel them. Cancel them in the name of Jesus Christ, simple. In the name of Jesus is enough, and that is canceled. Now, after that order is canceled, that plan, as that devil is already sent, has nothing left to do, but he keeps hanging around there with you, or in the congregation. Now you as a boss that is of the devil, in the name of Jesus, you send him wherever he wants to send him. That's what the word of God speaks. Demon, in the name of Jesus, you leave here, for where you want to send it, send it to the abyss, I do send it to the abyss, in the name of Jesus, I expel you into the abyss, in the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere you want to send it, that is what the word of God says. People will say, why to the abyss? Well, it's biblical. Luke 8, 31. Says the abyss, when Jesus was going to free the demoniac Gadarino, they begged him not to send them to the abyss. Although I have found that many of them, without asking them, without anything, they already say that they are going to the abyss, they say it themselves, then I send them. That is the way to destroy counterattacks. It's as simple as that. Let me clarify a bit here, the part of the abyss. My brothers, I send all to the abyss. There are some who send them to the feet of Christ. Why? For Christ to do what he wants to do, what is biblical? I have not heard that, but I have heard for the abyss, and as I said there, how did I discover it? Well, the Bible says it, that for the abyss, but it is also that they, without saying anything, say it, one told me. I go to the boilers, we go to the boilers, I understood that it is for hell, for the abyss. Then I said, okay, go. I will not tell them. No, no, do not go to the abyss, do not go. For boilers do not go, because that is not biblical, no. I said go then, take your things, and poi the donkey, as the Colombians say, go in the name of Jesus out of here. You have to throw them out, send them to the abyss, to the abyss. Even you ask someone there, or watch several videos of mine where I ask one. Underscore underscore. Well, you know, you have no legal right to be here, since your work in this person is over, you have to go. Underscore underscore underscore. Yes, I have to leave now. Underscore underscore underscore. One of them said to me, 
underscore underscore underscore. I do not have another chance. I have to go. Even an American in English told me. Underscore underscore underscore. I have to go. Underscore underscore underscore. And I told him. And where are you going to go? Underscore underscore underscore. To my place. To my house. To hell. To the abyss. Underscore underscore underscore. Well, collect your stuff here. You said it. Pick up your stuff here and go out in the name of Jesus right now. Simple. I wanted to make that clarification because sometimes confusions enter. That is why Christ, through this ministry, is forming a new generation of Christians. Is forming a new generation of preachers, pastors, leaders. Is a new generation using the power of Him, and that is what He wants. And you are part of that plan, new generation. Let's continue here, please. When do we make this counterattack? Always, when you detect something, cancel it in the name of Jesus. Destroy the whole plan and cast out all the demons in the name of Jesus. Everything quickly. You have to do it. I always do it. I almost always do it. It's a habit. I do it. It does not cost me anything. When I feel something there or without feeling, I cancel it. I do not wait for the demons to attack me. I cancel the works that Satan has sent in the name of Jesus. I cancel them. All are canceled in the name of Jesus, and every demon is cast out immediately in the name of Jesus. That is what you should do always. Do it. In the morning, when you get up, verbally, as you wish, preferably verbally, standing or lying down, you say it in the name of Jesus. As you get more into deliverance, well, you are going to train more. But you must also learn, and you must apply that. One application is destroy that in the name of Jesus Christ and cast those demons out of there. That's the way I use it. In the name of Jesus. Another powerful weapon that we have is the blood of Jesus. Look. I have so much experience with the blood of Jesus. Sometimes I was without strength. Sometimes I had such strong attacks. Now I have less. But using the blood of Jesus, even mentally, I was free. Sometimes I said mentally, "The blood of Jesus is power. The blood that Jesus shed on the cross of Calvary is power. The blood of Jesus is love." There are some attacks that I have experienced from my own experience when I am sleeping. Sometimes the attack is so strong that I had to use other weapons. Of course, in the name of Jesus Christ, the weapon of the blood of Jesus. I have had nightmares even with the same Satan brother. One of them I had it vividly. I went like in a cave. Satan was in the background, and next to me the demons laughed and the demons wanted to touch me. And I told them, "Out, demons! In the name of Jesus, out!" And the devils, nothing. Devils, go out. You do not have to touch me. I'm a child of God, and so every time I approached more where the throne of Satan was, but when I mentioned the blood of Jesus, pop, there was an explosion, brothers. Everything disintegrated right away. When I mention the blood of Jesus Christ, it is a tremendous weapon. The blood of Jesus of Nazareth, the word throne. I saw it several times when I had the attacks, those stronger ones that left me like two. Three times they left me in the dream as well as real. I was calm. I did not despair, and I started using the blood of Jesus. I knew I had the amount of demons that were attacking me, but I started in dreams mentally. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is holy. It is love. Jesus liberated me. The blood of Jesus is powerful. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, and it was everything. That oppression that I was feeling so strong, very great. It was gone. Everything was in peace. The blood of Jesus, the powerful blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus. Then you mention it. You begin to mention the blood of Jesus Christ. You will see the difference, brother. What I am saying to you, it is powerful, and use it, my brothers. Do not be afraid of Satan. Use it. The blood of Jesus Christ, the name of Jesus. That oppression or demonic attack is going away. 
losing strength, and keep repeating, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. So you already know, use the power of Jesus' blood. The complete work that Jesus did on the cross of Calvary. Another weapon that I use a lot is the complete work that Jesus did on the cross of Calvary. By mentioning the complete work that Jesus did on the cross of Calvary, that Jesus Christ was crucified, that also makes the enemy, Foz. Disappear, brother, let the enemy, his attack, loosen and go. The name of Jesus, the cross of Calvary, the blood of Jesus, the work that Jesus Christ did on the cross of Calvary. Satan, you are defeated with me, my sins were taken away and forgiven, because Jesus paid, he paid the price that I had to pay. Mention the work of Jesus, you have to mention what Jesus did on the cross of Calvary. Use it, you have to say, out, because in Jesus our sins were taken away, the curses were taken away. Being in holiness, the Father sees us righteous, sees us as saints, for what Jesus did on the cross of Calvary. You were transferred from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of the light of Jesus Christ. You have to throw them away in the name of Jesus, then you have to become a warrior. When will you do it? Every day. Do not neglect this, do it every day. You always pray to the Lord and also pray upright and pray horizontally. Lord, thank you for the day. Denounce there. I destroy every demonic plan in the name of Jesus, out. I have the prayers in the books and web page www.crystallibera.org. Everything is there. The Name of Jesus When you go to expel the devil, whatever it is, in the name of Jesus, remember, it's in the name of Jesus, there are people, you tell us that error, there are people saying in the name of Christ, in the name of the Lord, yes, we know that it is the same Jesus Christ, but there is a spiritual difference, there is a tremendous difference, for when you say in the name of God, no. There is a tremendous difference when you say, in the name of Jesus, or, in the name of Jesus Christ. I always say, Jesus, or Jesus Christ, but I do not say Christ, we know he is the Messiah, he is the same, but no. The name of Jesus is the key, and it is the one you should use. Use it in the name of Jesus. Outside, in the name of Jesus, I bound you in the name of Jesus, I expel you in the name of Jesus Christ, I bind you devil, out, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Support yourselves in the name of Jesus. It is as if the name of Jesus entered, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Outside. It is as if in the name of Jesus took it away, he will take it, and that is when it works. Faith. Now in all this there is a very fundamental ingredient. Faith, you must believe it, you by faith. Faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. Oh, you must feed on the word of God. Oh, read the word. Oh, study, scrutinize the Bible. Oh, analyze the word. It is very good. I advise you to read Romans, Galatians, study Galatians, Romans, the whole Bible, of course, the Gospels. Read, read. We need that faith in you to increase so that you see the work of Jesus Christ on the cross of the Calvary, what he did. You are a minister now a priest of the Lord, a person that the Father sees just, holy, because our Father sees you as his Son Jesus Christ, because Jesus took away our sins, took away all those curses of us, Jesus Christ did all that, that's why the Father sees us righteous, in Romans is the forgiveness of sins, everything, it is important that you take hold of the complete work that Jesus Christ did on the cross of Calvary, read, study, Dedicate time to study, because it is the basis, very good basis, even the base of Christianity. Study it, and more, 
Now that you are going to be in liberation, or that you are in liberation, it is when you should be more grasped of the word. Because when you say the word, the word will not be empty. In the name of Jesus you will leave. No. Because already that word goes without power, without anything spiritual, you are going to throw it because it is in the spirit, you are going to say it with a power, with a tremendous faith, that the demons recognize you. They know when there is faith and when there is no faith, because the spiritual world is handled like that, then you are going to send the word with faith that in the blood of Jesus Christ, you were cleansed. Jesus forgave me my sins, so you have nothing to do there, you have no power, you have no legal right, no authority over me before you had it, but now no longer. And when you begin to pronounce the word, the word, the word, the blood of Jesus, the name of Jesus, the work that Jesus did on Calvary, there is a great difference. Tremendous difference there is. That's all. It's not a mystery. It's all and always get used to mention the name of Jesus. Why do I say it? Now all this, what I am saying here, brothers, is the Lord, is guiding us to tell you all these things. It is an honor for me to serve the Lord in this area. You name rather the name of Jesus, because if the Father says, Him I glorify, glorifies Jesus Christ, even the twenty-four elders prostrated themselves before Jesus Christ, Revelation 5 8, because the Father, the Trinity, there is no jealousy there. If we worship Jesus Christ, we are well. If we worship the Father in the name of Jesus, it's fine. Then one way or another, but I advise you. The center of me is Christ, less than Jesus Christ. I focus on Jesus Christ, because if I worship Jesus Christ, it is as if I adore the Father, because that is the order of the Father. You can go to countries where they do not believe in Christ, in Jesus Christ, you speak of God and everything is fine. The President of the United States goes anywhere and mentions the name of God, it's okay, nothing happens. He talks to the Muslims about God, there's no problem, because they supposedly believe that God is Allah and confuse him, even though it's false. You can go to the Middle East to talk about God and it's okay, to someone you talk about God and he's fine. But where you talk about Jesus, when you mention the name of Jesus, there are problems, there is controversy, there you will be put aside, not before. That's why the President of the United States went there and spoke of God, that <coughs> God such. There everything is fine. But where he said Jesus Christ, there got into trouble. I make the clarification, not the current President of the United States. The current President speaks of Christ even more than many Christians. But the previous one went there to mention the name of Jesus, and the thing was different. Regarding this, when I listen to brothers in Christ, speaking, speaking, well many speak but do not speak about God, but when they are talking about God, only and sometimes mention the name of God, but never mention the name of Jesus, they have me a little worried, when they do not speak of Jesus Christ, or even in preaching, pastors when they are preaching, tremendous preaching, good preaching, greater than good message, but they do not mention it at all the name of Jesus or Jesus Christ, do not mention it, that has me a little worried. Tremendous! It is what it loses the effect that it must have, because the center of the Bible is Jesus Christ. We all turn in Jesus Christ, and when we do not see it, sometimes it gives a little doubt, but this happens. I hope that you all mention the name of Jesus, be Christ-centered, always in Jesus Christ, in Jesus. Is it clear? Even when I started a liberation, a demon told me, What do you want with me, Jesus, and your angels? He told me this way, What do you want with me, Jesus, and your angels? Tremendous. He told me, Jesus. They see what is in one, because they see the spiritual. It is not that I am Jesus Christ, but we are ambassadors of Christ, says the Word of God, ambassadors. And they see who we represent, they see the Lord then being centered in Christ is the key. When you mention the name of Jesus, spiritually, there is a tremendous struggle and defeat, because they know that Jesus humbled them publicly and triumphed over them on the cross of Calvary, 
to principalities, to Satan, all were defeated on the cross by Jesus Christ. Lord, then you always mention the name of Jesus, and even more if you are evangelizing, because there are many people who are going to evangelize, but they do not mention the name of Jesus. Look, they say, hey, we must search for God. You have to look for God. Yes, but they are saying it without power, my God. Underscore, underscore, underscore. Hey, you have to look for God. Underscore, underscore, underscore. I am with God. I am with God. Underscore, underscore, underscore. But you say, hey, you have to look for Jesus Christ. There the thing is different. You have to learn about Jesus Christ. You have to hear his word. You know Jesus of Nazareth. Underscore, underscore, there is the problem. They will say, oh, you are evangelical. I do not know what. Before you mentioned the name God and everything was fine, but tell them about Jesus Christ and everything will change. Here is a small recommendation. Many people do not mention, do not talk about Jesus Christ because they know or think he is going to make the person uncomfortable. Every time you talk about Jesus Christ, the person leaves. You do not tell them because the person is offended or whatever. But do you know what my brother? I prefer that person be offended than Christ be offended by me for not mentioning that person about Jesus. I prefer it because we know we are all going to give an account. I prefer to be well with him, that Jesus is happy, and that this person is sad or bitter, angry, whatever. I prefer that my brother. That's why we are watchtowers. We have to tell the truth to the people. What there will be rejection will be. I will not wait for everyone to accept it. Jesus himself experienced it. They are tips I use and I know that many of you use. The Bible says it. Do not have any fear of anything. You become aware of who you are in Jesus Christ and you will have a different life. Stay always alert in prayer. The counterattacks will continue forever. How long? Until Jesus Christ comes to take us or to separate us from the earth because you will always see attacks, and you will always stay in prayer. Do not lower your guard. Many people who are liberated, what they do quietly is to lower their guard. They do not congregate, they lower the rhythm in everything. It is when they should continue, because they are going to send attacks, they are going to want to make you fall into sin, where you were stuck or the diseases that you had before, they are going to try to put it again, but you must follow. In the classes of the school, there is a class on how to maintain the liberation. This is a part of how to maintain the liberation. But it is more focused on how to counterattack, how to destroy the counterattacks. That class of how to maintain liberation is part of this advanced level. See it if you have not seen it yet. And there are also books. Remember that all this information is already in the books. It is very important. Today I have extended quite. But it is very necessary, and all this information is urgent, because I have heard of several that have been attacked. This is from God. Well, in the name of Jesus, God is going to use you. Just let him use you, because there are already many who are here that God is using them. Pastor Jamie Teruya is a good example. There are already many who are being used in liberation. There are people who did not know anything about deliverance, they have trained and they are already putting into practice what they have learned and they are liberating. I insist on the books because the books are a guide for the exercise of liberation and if you are in liberation, you should get that tool. Acquire the liberation books. They are fundamental. They are key because there, I do not only speak of liberation, but I explain how to destroy, how to hold the demon, how to be free of everything, how to clean your house. There are all the steps of how to do that. I apply them and I continue to apply them. Since I started four and a half years ago to be full time in this, there are all the steps, all the resignations, form, etc. Everything is there. Everything. So, brothers, please, if you love Jesus Christ, if the love of Jesus is in you, do this, brothers. Let yourselves be used by Jesus Christ, His Word, because the Lord wants to use you. Be assured that all those who are seeing the videos, 
those that connect on Facebook or YouTube every day, until Saturday, God wants to use you brothers. Remember, the fundamental ingredient, faith, you have to believe. Study the Word, dedicate quality time to the Word which is the basis of faith, to counteract any counterattack, you will cancel with the Word all legal rights, and will take authority over Satan and his demons with the Word. When you mention the name of Jesus, you are acknowledging and declaring that the only name and only salvation comes from our Lord Jesus Christ. And not of other idols and nothing of that story, there is no other name given to men in which we can be saved. We should not fear anything, if we are aware of what we are in Jesus Christ our lives will be different, you have to believe because it is the truth. Do not believe what they say to you, no. You believe what the Word of God says, believe what God says, the Father through Jesus Christ in you. Attacks are coming, counterattacks are coming, but it does not matter, because we are with the most powerful one in the world. You have to declare the Word. You know how to use the blood of Jesus, use the name of Jesus, cancel everything, use it, apply what Jesus did on the cross of Calvary, and you will see the difference. God bless you all. We continue then. Keep going, watching the lectures or videos, and you will see that your lives are going to be different. The enemy is going to want to destroy you, discourage you from continuing these conferences and things like that. No. Continue. You are a warrior of the last times, of Jesus Christ. Believe it or not, it is the truth. And a warrior is always armed with the word, Alleluia. A warrior is always willing to go forward, because the one who goes ahead of us is called Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Do not be afraid. Use the word. Use it. Go forward in war for the honor and glory of Jesus Christ. I love you in Jesus Christ, your brother and friend, Roger Munoz, director of the Liberation Ministry, Freedom in Christ International spoke to us on the page www.crystallibera.org. We see each other on Facebook, on YouTube. We also have the application for iPhone, Android. You get us there, Freedom in Christ International. Download the application that those tools are for you. For the body of Christ, I love you. Blessings. Prayer of Freedom this prayer is very important. All Christians should have it and use it every day and several times a day. From this moment, use it, get a copy. Jesus, the Son of God, came in human flesh, was born of a virgin, died on the cross, resurrected on the third day, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father, has all authority and authority over the entire universe, in heaven, the earth, and under the earth. Jesus delegated authority and power to us, to the church, to tread on serpents and scorpions and on all the power of the enemy, and no forged weapon could harm us. He has given us the authority in the name of Jesus to cast out demons. In the name of Jesus, I annul, cancel, cut and destroy any spells, prayers, curses, vows, demonic covenants, witchcraft, spells, satanic commands, plans, strategies, and everything that comes from the devil, from the kingdom of darkness, or from people. I destroy all evil works, and cancel in the name of Jesus, no harm will touch me, or my family, or my house in the name of Jesus. Out, in the name of Jesus! You have no legal rights, no authority or power, your evil works in this house, my mind, body and spirit and emotions are over, I bind the strong man and his demons, I uproot them, uproot them, I destroy all demonic structures and I throw them out, out, out in the name of Jesus, out in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is powerful and sufficient. Prayer of Health this prayer, like the freedom prayer, is very important. All Christians should have it and use it every day and several times a day. From this moment on, 
make copies and share it with others. Devil, you are a deceiver, a liar. You know that I am a new creature, redeemed property, because Jesus Christ is my Redeemer. I do not live in your territory, and therefore, you have no legal right to invade my property, my territory, I no longer belong to you, nor am I under your jurisdiction. I have been redeemed of your authority by Jesus Christ. This disease that you have put on me, son, mom, etc., was already destroyed on the cross of Calvary, and you know that I do not have to suffer it. I command you in. Final Recommendation Enroll in the Freedom in Christ International School. Put all these spiritual warfare weapons into practice. Evangelize with our series of books, Freedom in Christ. Acquire the entire series of books, Freedom in Christ, and Training Soldiers for Spiritual Warfare. Go back to studying this book, and recommend our series. Register at the Deliverance School. Freedom in Christ International www.cristolibera.org Roger D. Munoz www.cristolibera.org Freedom in Christ Ministry of Healing and Deliverance Seattle, Washington, United States These books are available in several languages. Orders www.cristolibera.org www.amazon.com www.bookdepository.com 1425-269-2755-USA Author, Roger Munoz